Forget sign language. I can't watch this show in any language. It's Jono and Ben at 10. Shortland Street had an explosive cliffhanger. Ben, they promised us three deaths. We were bloodthirsty, but all we got was an all-singing, all-dancing Chris Warner. Oh, hang on. Everyone died of embarrassment. <laughs> and shaking their booties, I want beats that are cool and groovy. <laughs> but at the end, it all turned very evil, didn't it? Oh, Thanks man. to an evil apple-eating doctor. <laughs> well, I guess they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so, you know? A better way to keep a doctor away is to murder them all with bombs. <laughs> Listen, it was just an embarrassing script mix-up because on Shortland Street they had a bomb at the beach, on Home and Away they had a bomb at the hospital. It's a simple mix-up, much like we get mixed up with Hamish and Andy's scripts. We get those ones all the time. <laughs> but anyway, the big question was, who did it better, Home and Away or Shortland Street? And the winner is TV2 for owning both those shows. <laughs> and the bad news is we have to wait until next year to find out who died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me sad, don't make me cry. Sometimes love is not enough and the road gets tough. I don't know why. Keep making me laugh. Let's go get high. Oh, yeah. But I'll say it on pretty good authority that someone from this show won't be back in 2014. What? Check it out. Don't make me sad, don't make me cry. Sometimes love is not enough and the road gets Obviously it's me, the other guy's aren't even in the coffin. Shut up, guy. We've got to keep a mystery for our viewers, mate. Don't say guy's name. Wait, does being in the coffin mean that I'm fired? What if I her? She doesn't even have a line in the sketch. I don't even know why they're doing this act. <laughs> Obviously it's Roy Marta who dies. <laughs> Honestly, Shortland Street, we don't care who dies as long as it's not Chris Warner because we can't make this freaking show without him. <laughs> <laughs> now, it is the end of the year, though, and everyone's getting into the festive spirit. Even John Banks is getting all Christmassy. You happy, though, that it'll be out of the way well before the election? You don't seem to understand the meaning of no. I told you last week I'd be making no further comment except wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> is confusing the term Merry Christmas for fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And by Merry Christmas, yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christmas in the park tomorrow night, or as Frankie Stevens likes to call it, his first gig of the year. Oh. <laughs> we just hope that everything goes smoothly, though, because tonight is the night before Christmas in the park. It was the night before Christmas in the park and through TV3 station, not a creature was stirring, except in the studio where I was doing narration. <laughs> Early to bed, the whole network had gone, for their holiday show was soon to be on. Jono and Ben nestled snug in their beds, with old tiny sleeping caps perched on their heads. Suddenly, a crash shook their humble abode. Oh, the There'd been an accident outside on the road. What the heck's going on? And why is the camera too small? They stumbled outside to see what was the matter, to find some celebrities making a clatter. Like a bald, muscly Santa that adults believe in. There, leading the gang, was old Frankie Stevens. Frankie! Cried then. I thought you were dead. I'm alive and well, boys. Frankie Stevens said. Every year I come out of my deep hibernation to spread Christmas joy to all of the nation. On Murphy, Hi, on Clark, <laughs> on Junimia. Why are you whipping me? We're in a car. Now, how will we get to Christmas in the park? It's the one time of year to see Jackie Clark. But we're stranded. Cried Michael. What will we do now? Hang on. Said Jono. I might just know what to do in this 
particular situation. Sorry, uh, rhyming's not my thing. For fuck's sake, Jono. Sorry. <laughs> so they knocked on the doors and they started to whine, but got no's from the hosts of The Block and Nightline. Sasha, oh please, won't you come to our aid? Beat it! They yelled. Is your show still being made? And just when they thought that all hope had died, a rocket Whoa. appeared and Lord was inside. I don't believe it! Said Ben. Lord came on our show, but why isn't she talking? Well, that's because she actually said no. Ah, gotcha. And so unauthorised Lord flew them all to the park so the C-list celebs could sing in the dark. <laughs> the stars did arrive and all went to plan and the boys snuck in beers and the sponsors read candies. <laughs> Cheers, Jono. They sung Christmas carols and ate Christmas pies and stealthily avoided hanging out with guys. I didn't want to hang out with you guys anyway. I'm going to hang out with my other real friends who are real. The best Christmas ever! They all said with delight. So happy Christmas to all. I'm Mike McRoberts. Good night. Frankie Stevens is retired now, so he's homeless, and now every Christmas will be Christmas in the past. <laughs> Stop being a Christmas Grinch guy like Sam the Weatherman on TV One's Breakfast. You can actually spoil people's Christmases right here because you can have a good look at what side's in the box and then you can read the name on the side and then you can say that Darren Thiel uh, is getting a, uh, a bow and arrow for Christmas. Oh. And Darren's going to use that bow and arrow to murder the guy who ruined his Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> now in Auckland, taxi drivers, they were on a hunger strike but they kind of missed out the hunger part. Good morning, Sonny. Um, are you hungry, you guys, who haven't been eating? This is chain hun hunger strike. Uh, one group sit, and when they finish, then another group take, take over. Um, uh, <laughs> a chain hunger strike. So, more of just a day where you've gone to work and forgotten your lunch. <laughs> yeah. Those guys would be shit at the 40-hour famine, wouldn't they? they would <laughs> but all these protests are too cynical and negative. That's why I decided to make some positive protests. Protests are fun! Protests are fun! <laughs> Cats are cute! Cats are cute! More animal testing! Test our animals! How else are you going to know how smart they are? We're in reflections! We're in reflections! Down with John King! Down with John King! We're totally down with everything John King is doing! He's trying his best! What do we want? Drive-thrus and McDonald's! When do we want? Thank you very much. <laughs> I think it was just nice to see a protest in New Zealand without John Minton. Amen, it. brother. Did someone say protest? <laughs> <laughs> Minto, mate, we didn't invite you along tonight. Ah, oh, no one's inviting me anywhere this week. <laughs> We're sorry you didn't get to go to South Africa with the Prime Minister, John. Uh, but we hope coming on our show is a consolation. Yeah. Oh, well, this show's dying anyway, so it's a bit like being at a funeral. <laughs> oh. But look, guys, while I'm here, can we have a protest? <laughs> yeah, why not? Stop John on me! Stop John on me! Stop John on me! Stop John on me! What are you doing? Stop John on me! I'm getting caught up in the <laughs> It's a catchy chant, mate. Now, the crazy carny fest that was New Zealand's Got Talent wrapped up this week. Yeah, and John Minzo could have won it, actually. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it was nice to see in the final they digital the weirdos and focused on the people that actually had talent. Because I am a champion. You're going to hear me roar. <laughs> and now all the contestants go back to their normal lives as road workers, prostitutes, and the mentally unstable. <laughs> Chris Judge heads back to the 90s where he's still in a relationship with J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> but Rachel Hunter couldn't leave quick enough, could she? Because we got hold of her for this week's next actor. Today we're at Helen Stein Brothers where our next actor is Rachel Hunter. Yeah, Rachel's done loads of stuff. She's done modelling, she's done judging on New Zealand's Got Talent. And now she's doing us. That came out a little wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, we well, can yeah. go and do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, swear a lot. Yeah. What kind of fucking shit do you want? <laughs> when is that fucking wedding those four people? Okay. Rachel Hunter's gonna put some money in the swear jar after this. <laughs> There's a guy in the changing rooms, Rachel. Put on that screen mask, and when he jumps out, give him a frog. Go, go, go. <laughs> Rachel, just uh, on the slide, see how much stuff you can get into his backpack. Let's um, put some of this in your backpack. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can get more of that backpack, surely, Rachel. What size are you? 32. Make sure they're the right size. <laughs> We're stealing clothes. I want them to fit me <laughs> You know they say you can't beat a trumpet, Rachel? Yeah. So start licking your trumpet like you did in the commercial. Maybe um, spill the ice cream all over the guy's shirt. Yeah. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of it's a bit of a mess there. I'm just trying to use the shirt to like clean your mouth now. I haven't, um. <laughs> I don't have like much yet, so I'm going to hold it. It was a lot more sexy in the original Trumpet ad, wasn't it? We actually don't take this. Cut the card. 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 You know what? Sorry, but um, we don't take this card, so we're just going to pick up this one. <laughs> For this dude. <laughs> and put a whole load of cash from the counter in there too. And stuff a little bit down your top as well. You have that. I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> <laughs> So call her Rach now. What about it? <laughs> Best performance by a Kiwi since Lord was nominated for some Grammys this week. Oh, yes, and also uh, Nigella Lawson. She nominated herself for a couple of Grammys, but her nostrils claim both of those. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! And the joke of the day, a prize goes to Ben Boyce for that <laughs> terrible joke. Coming up, we play Secret Santas in Christchurch. <laughs> and Guy takes his brand new quiz show to the streets of Sydney. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> was invited to attend Mandela's funeral. Yes, in keeping with Mandela's message of racial equality, John Key decided to deny Hone Hardaway the trip to go over, instead opting to take one of his rich white friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the good news is, in South Africa, John Key definitely caught the attention oh, yeah. of the world's media. He did. The New York Daily News clearly didn't recognise our Prime Minister, calling him an unidentified <laughs> guest. OK, well, clearly he didn't manage that. Well, at least he can do, Ben, is report back to us and tell us how it's all going. He joins us now live from Pretoria. I think they've lost connection with us, you know. It's very funny. Oh, fuck, they've lost connection. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going beep, beep, beep. Oh, fuck, they've lost connection. Well, John Key wasn't doing much for um, inter-country relations, though, was he? No, so we decided to send Guy Williams across to Australia to uh, try and patch up the Trans-Tasman rivalry. This is my new hit quiz show, Quizzy, Quizzy, Quizzy. Let's check it out. Lana, get over here. <laughs> Welcome back to the hit show from New Zealand. Quizzy, quizzy, quizzy. Oi, oi, oi. I don't know how so many people know about this show. Fantastic. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about Australia? Is it A, shark attacks, B, bushfires, or C, gang shootings? I think it's a tie between shark attacks and gang shootings. <laughs> <laughs> Whose cocaine is better, Sydney or Melbourne? Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> Good to hear. Count to number seven. Four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> Australia is A, too hot, B, way too hot, C, what the fuck is wrong with this place? <laughs> and we're back on the show. <laughs> Lana, I see the way you're looking at them. Ice to the ground. Ice to the ground, Lana. OK, here we go. All right. Which of the following is not a city in New Zealand? Is it A, Matamata, B, Fakatane, C, Fakapapa, or D, Melbourne? B. You've got a B, Fakatane. Do you want to hear the questions again? <laughs> Conclusion, all Australians are bloody criminals and all New Zealanders are Kiwi legends, am I right? Yeah. Oh, now, Christmas isn't too far away and if you're struggling for a gift, well, the new shows have the answer. There are bush rifles, there are shotguns, there are handguns. Gollywogs, or the more genteel sounding gollies, are apparently back in vogue. Well, that's my Nazi war veteran granddad looked after for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to do a little bit better in this week's Action Men when we played our own version of Secret Santa.
Today we're in Christchurch dressed as Santa. Well, he's a malnourished Santa, but we'll get over that. And we're going to play a game called Secret Santas. Ho, ho! Secret Santas must stay secret, because if you see him, you don't get the bloody present. Creeping up. Oh, he's got a basketball throw. Oh, he missed. What, is he playing for the breakers? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God, they it up. Unfortunately, as horrible as that is, he's got to take it back now. Sorry, bro, you noticed it. Still got to take it off you, sorry. Merry Christmas! Sorry. It's like taking a CD from the kid. What has he got? Oh, is that a Logitech boom <laughs> box, Ben? Secret Santa unloading the secret boom box. Oh, He's oh, done oh. it. Has he even noticed it? <laughs> nice. I'm going to go point it out to him. Okay. Don't look at me, but you might want to look in the pram. That's a pretty sweet gift. Hey. Hey. Merry Christmas. Oh. 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 I'm taking the credit. He gave it to you. I'm going to get out. Don't know. It's, it's, it's a rugby cricket ball. Bat. <laughs> it's what? Oh, it's a cricket bat. <laughs> Oh, he's been busted, no. Take it away. Oh, Could have no. had it, mate. Oh, I feel so harsh. Saying that. Oh. Have you ever destroyed an eight-year-old's Christmas before? <laughs> Nothing quite like the feeling. <laughs> There's the guy over there, and I know he's probably about four, but yeah. he's really wearing the same stuff as us, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Take the bat, Tom Johnny. All right. <laughs> he's creaching in there. This is like watching Test Match Cricket. It's taking that long. To slip. How's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh, <laughs> oh my! Oh. Do you want to do like a double play Let's station go. on this? Because mm. nice play on um, John has gone over there now. He's going to gauge your conversation as soon as he does. Merry Christmas, mate. What's your name? Okay, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Me? What's your name? Oh, nice to meet you. Can I have some snacks? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> what? Mate. You go, mate. Oh. It's all yours, mate. Congratulations, Merry Christmas, bro. Enjoy it, mate. <laughs> See you, mate. There we go. Merry Christmas, guys. Nice double play. Great double play. You're good. To bring joy to people for a change, it wasn't it? Right. As opposed to the misery you normally bring. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Anyway, coming up on the show, Rose Dry Speed Dating Round 2 with Benny Tiffany. Yes, and I give Ben a fright before Christmas. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> The second Hobbit movie had its premiere in Wellington. Yes, the cast and crew turned up to watch it, and word is they're still in the theatre because the film's got another two freaking <laughs> days to go. <laughs> hey, uh, we were actually meant to be in that movie, weren't we? But we got bloody cut out. Here's our scenes. I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. We'd rather just stay here and smoke the sweet Hobbit weed, mate. <laughs> Far to the east lies a single solitary peak. That's a long way to walk. Why don't we just fly there on those giant eagles? <laughs> Gandalf. Allow me to introduce Sodden Oakenshield. Dungeons, Dungeons Deep. Deep. And cards oh, oh, Gandalf, your hair is so silky. Gandalf, it's me, Guy, from Nelson. that Eddie Murphy was meant to be in the first Hobbit film, but he turned it down because he didn't want to be a Tolkien black character. Oh! oh! Joke of the night! <laughs> Joke of the night! <laughs> and speaking of Tolkien... Excuse me, were you just about to call me the Tolkien female of the show? <laughs> Uh, so, so it was just it was to, 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 yeah. Also, another thing, can we please get the budget to stretch for another dress? Because I barely fit this one. <laughs> Rose, Rose, when we all started, we had to wear that dress every day, yeah. too. <laughs> That's why it smells of bad life decisions. <laughs> Speaking of bad, I went on a date with Benny Tiffany this week, and it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, so lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Before we kind of like properly begin. Right. I am loving like the whole homeless person look that you've got going on. <laughs> oh, nice. I love it. Not that I like date homeless guys though. Yeah. Uh, so you have a new single out. Yes. My question is, when are you out and single? <laughs> okay. So, serious question. Right. What have you been up to lately? I've been chilling out. Recording stuff? Recording, and... yep. Mm -hmm. um, and so I want to put your hair in my mouth. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry. So I've just, yeah, been... I just want to put your hand in <laughs> So, uh, you're from Palmerston North. I am indeed. Was that sad? <laughs> <laughs> 
I am so rude. Would you like a glass of wine? Yeah, sure. There we go. Pour it up for you. Yeah. It's good. Awesome. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh, mate. This is like, I've never been on a date like this before. I haven't been on any dates. <laughs> Yes. So I thought, um, you know, just get into the Christmas spirit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought in my face, you can't even get... You've ruined it. You've actually ruined it. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. But Benny. Yes. I like you. Okay. I'm gonna stop playing hard to get. All right. You could have all this. <laughs> <laughs> not that it's for sale, I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> Although I have been mistaken yeah. for one once. Yeah. And that's how I met the Marable Fund. <laughs> We're gonna play word association. Yeah. Girlfriend. Babes. Yeah. <laughs> Two for one time massage voucher from Grab One. What am I supposed to say to that? Just whatever thoughts that come to your mind. Yes. That was the answer I was looking for. Yeah, sure. Me. Cross the cheek. What? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Yes, judging by those signs, I don't quite think Betty's into Rose. Yeah, but that was nowhere near as awkward as the interpreter at the Mandela funeral. This man was meant to be relaying the tributes to Nelson Mandela to the world's deaf community. He's pretending to know that he knows signing. <laughs> he turned up there, they're like, Baz, can you do sign language? He's like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 no worries, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching our show. Please make sure you join us next Friday at 9.30 for our hour-long season finale. Yeah, that'd be exciting. But right now, it sucks to be me. We'll see you next Friday. <laughs>Christmas is just around the corner and I thought I'd get my mate Benjamin Boyce in the Christmas spirit with a little something I like to call the fright before Christmas. <laughs>